There's an LED light on sign from Poundland, except that it costs two pounds. I recently saw this on Martin Davies' uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he did a quick teardown. And I thought I'd pick up one and see what it was. What would it look like if I had replaced the um, white LED strip with something a bit more colorful? So remove the white cob LED strip um, from the inside and replaced it with a strip of uh, new pixels, WS2812, and also put in an 80 tiny 85 microcontroller uh, in order to generate the pattern. So it's actually just running a modified version of strand test um, from the Adafruit website. I've also put a infrared receiver on it and uh, the infrared can pass right through the front panel. I mean, I've repurposed this remote from an iPod speaker dock. So you can actually use this to select different patterns and uh, maybe speed up the animations. and switch different modes. Now a strip of WS2812 LEDs um, requires a lot more power to illuminate than uh, just the two AAA batteries, um, which was sufficient for the LED strip. So this one is actually now powered by one of those Poundland um, power power banks for your charging your phone. There's the uh, AT Tiny 85, and uh, you can't quite see the IR receiver. I'll have to open it up to show you. It is just powered directly from the power bank. Just have to remove the USB attachment. Again, this is just a piece of cardboard and two strips of copper. And there you have it. So this is the WS WS2812 strip, NeoPixel strip. Uh, it has 15 RGB LEDs and uh, I thought that uh, program is probably easier if I made it 16 so I added one more for the center to illuminate the center. It turns out that the existing 15 uh, was enough to illuminate everything. didn't really need to put one in the center. And just there you might be able to see the IR sensor. Yeah, I think it's one of those uh, TSOP 28s. I kept the original switch and it's just that the um, as the battery bank uh, was insufficient to power this so this was removed and that left space. Now one of the problems of um, dealing with light boxes and modifications is that anything you put in here will cast a shadow since it's being illuminated from all around. So there wasn't a whole lot I could put in here. I was thinking of placing an entire uh, one of those um, small Arduino boards. But like I said, if uh, anything that uh, came positioned close to this um, diffuser screen would end up casting a shadow. So I went with the minimal approach, 80 tiny 85. There it is all powered up. Let's try switching modes. Now in order to make 
more effective use of the light. Uh, I've added some silver wrapping paper to the backing to help reflect more of it towards the front of the diffuser. So any sort of uh, power bank, lithium ion based, should be, be able to supply sufficient uh, current to power this. Very rudimentary cardboard holder for it. And here's the prototype I used while developing the electronics that would replace the um, illumination for this. Uh, this is the Adafruit 16 NeoPixel ring and here's an IR sensor, there's the 80 tiny 85 um, capacitor in order to stabilize the or remove some of the ripple from the power supply and um, well they recommended the resistor, I'm not sure if, if the 10k resistor was quite needed on the signal line data into the NeoPixel ring reverse engineer, well I didn't reverse engineer the um, protocol that this was using. Uh, there are actually Arduino libraries that already understand the, uh, the various protocols. I think this is an NEC protocol that is being used by this infrared remote. Uh, you just have to f find out what commands each of these buttons press and then write the microcontroller program in order to act appropriately for each one. So the menu up and down changes the modes. So the fast forward and we rewind speeds things up and slows them down. And there are various other buttons that change certain aspects of the animations. And there's the modified LED right on sign um, being used in a decorative position. Now because I've removed the AAA battery holder, it's left a hole in the back and uh, as I haven't sealed it up, the strip of um, NeoPixels is now illuminating the wall through that hole which does lend towards an uh, ambient uh, effect. And one of the ways I could possibly extend this is um, maybe make the animations react to sound and music.